Greetings and salutations. I'm Gil. And I'm Gil, and this is Strategic Prepper. All right, so we are here at the um, Hot Springs Off-Road Park in Arkansas. So uh, this is my second time going out with the 4Runner, completely stock. So it's an SR5 model. Um, so it's got highway tires and has no lift and no locking rear diff. So for those of you guys that off-road know what that means, um, I'm unable to lock my two rear tires together. So situations like this, especially, and you'll see some more in the video, um, where I've got some articulation going on and, and some loose rocks that could be a problem. But Toyota is actually equipped with something called A-Track. Um, and right here, you probably can't hear it, but uh, right there it started working where you see the um, the vehicle kind of slow down for a second and then continue on. That A-Track pulsates the brakes. So when you have a spinning wheel, it'll pulsate the brake to send power to the wheel of traction. And uh, I'll tell you, I've, I've used it in a lot of areas that um, other vehicles had to use their lockers on. And I've uh i've been fine i haven't gotten stuck yet um and so like i said this is the second time taking it out different terrain that the first time i took it out was a lot of mud this is more rocks uh, this is the off-road park that caused that damage to my tire uh, that caused me to have to get all trains so um yeah it's uh so we're, we're in a, we're in a group of uh, other jeeps i think i was the only non-jeep on this particular trail we had another gmc pickup on another trail but um, one there's one other stock vehicle, and so just me and this other vehicle. So you can see right here it stops, um, and I'm just letting that A-track work, and it'll pulsate power. And so what's happening is uh, on this terrain, you know, some wheels have traction, some don't. Some wheels get lifted in the air, um, and so a regular vehicle with just standard four-wheel drive can get stuck. And you'll see there'll be a section later on where um, I'll actually have two opposing wheels, diagonally opposing wheels in the air. And so generally, if you don't have a locker, you get stuck doing that. Um, and so that A-Track actually works uh, pretty well. And so um, I, you'll see I didn't get stuck. And so here I'm waiting. Um, they actually use a spotter in this area. So uh, being that I don't have a lift, I am at a higher risk of, of, of hitting stuff. So I do have some skid plates, and they, they took a beating this, this trip. But you can see here he's spotting me down. And uh, I'm just looking at him. So everything he's telling me to do is what I'm doing. I'm not even really looking where I'm going. And so learning where to place your tire. Uh, tires are pretty important. What line you take. Um, a lot of that could, is, will be the difference between getting stuck and, and making it through a trail. Um, and so here's another clip. It's a pretty steep uphill portion. The camera doesn't do it justice. Lots of loose rocks. Lots of articulation. Um, and so I'm just letting the A-track work. Trying to pick a good line up there um like you know like i like i said in these other videos it's they're mild trails they're nothing crazy i think this was rated two or three um this park has a rating system i think it's one through five i can't remember but these are twos and threes nothing crazy but as far as a preparedness vehicle or a bug out vehicle you could call it um I, i'd say this is these are pretty good trails for that i think the chance of you going through some hardcore terrain is, is relatively low for most people um and so here I'm just making my way up. You could see the, the vehicle rock back and forth. So, you know, certain tires have traction, certain tires lose traction. Um, and so here is that area I was telling you about where I had the diagonally posing wheel. So right where these guys, they're all watching because they're going to see how every vehicle does. It's hard to tell, but there's humps or there's dips in the ground. And the your vehicle teeters. So right about there, I'm teetering on two tires. And so I got two opposing wheels right there. I'm opposing wheels in the air. Um, and so if you don't have a locking diff, typically that's when you get stuck. Um, but that A-Track works fine. And so, you know, going on trails like this has really changed my modification plan. You know, initially when I got the SR5, I planned on eventually put, adding a locker. But I'm probably not going to. I really don't need it. I haven't needed it yet. I'm probably not going to go on trails that, that really need it. Here's a pretty good downhill portion you can see there's the, i'll be using two different spotters um, again camera doesn't really do the terrain justice it's decently steep um, lots of suspension articulation but again he's guiding me on a line different line than the jeep in front of me took because the other jeep has bigger tires and a lift so he's guiding me down um, a line that's that's better for my vehicle since it's a little lower to the ground 
So I'm watching him. He hands me off to the next guy. So I, now I'm just watching him. All right. So you see how he's, he's telling me to make those tire corrections. So um, yeah, if you steer the wrong way, you could you could easily get uh, get stuck. So it's important to have a good spotter. It's important to listen to him. And and so this is why we talk about go out there and do the things, right? Go out there and do. Um, you could have a, a a modified vehicle, but if you don't have the experience of actually using it, one, you don't really know what the vehicle is capable of, and you don't know how to utilize it properly. And so, just going out there a few times a year. You know, this year I went twice. Hopefully next year I can go two, three times. Um, at least three would be nice. But um, every time I, I gain a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of experience, have a better understanding of how to utilize the vehicles. Um, other vehicle singular and here we just read a little break point so i'm just pulling in behind the other guy waiting here's another portion this, this is a pretty good steep portion too um you, I, I think we have the audio from the dash cam muted but um, the a track is working overtime in this clip lots of loose rocks Decent suspension articulation. So again, as your tires uh, come off the ground and lose traction or whatnot, um, that it's like this thing's like a billy goat. That a track just claws at the ground. And uh, as long as you give it, you have to understand how to use it too. If you you go watch YouTube videos of guys reviewing uh, these vehicles, a lot of them don't understand how to use them. And I've seen them use a track really poorly. You can't surge a throttle with it and just stop. You got to give it consistent throttle input smooth and consistent not too much not too little and so you can see here it gets a little rocky and and so yeah if, if you're if you're if you've got a let's say a highlander you're probably not going to make it up here but uh, if you also don't understand how to use your vehicle you see here he's, he's telling me which way to go and now I'm, he's now i'm clear he's just waving me off um but yeah if you don't understand how to navigate that and so i'd say you look at this terrain if you want a preparedness vehicle i'd say this is realistic terrain to train for um, I'm I'm not gonna rock crawl or anything like that, but I'd say this is pretty good. Um, so hey guys, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. That's that's about it on my dash cam footage. Um, I'll you know I'll keep you guys updated as I do more. Um, and so that was it for the for the dash cam, like I said. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated as I do more things with the vehicle. Um, you know more off roading trips and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Appreciate you guys watching.